Okay, here we are, guys. Um, as you can see here, the apple wine made a really big mess. Uh, the fermentation of the apples uh, really showed off here, and it uh, splattered all over the place. I'm going to have to take uh, all of this top stuff out so that it gives room for the fermentation to happen. Uh, as you can notice here, there's a lot of fermentation happening in the uh, the rhubarb wine, and you can see it from the bubbling here. The bubbling means there's a lot of gas forming inside the wine, and the alcohol is actually forming, so that's good to see here. Bad to see here. So I'm going to clean up this mess and show you some more later. Okay guys, as you saw a while ago, uh, there was a big mess on the uh, apple cider wine and uh, I was able to clean it up and get rid of a lot of the uh, the top sediments from the uh, from that carboy clean the mess from around what I had to do also since uh, a lot of the sediments had come up through the top the bubbler I had to add uh, more yeast to this carboy and I used another one of the uh, wine kits. Now this is a seven day accelerator pack. I personally do not recommend anyone use this. Uh, it says it does wine in seven days. It does. The only thing is that your wine is so strong and tastes so much of yeast it's just basically non-drinkable. So what I did is I took the um, the envelope that came with it, which is the, uh, the accelerator pack, and uh, took one teaspoon of the accelerator pack yeast, put it into the uh, apple cider, and let the fermentation start over. Um, it's really difficult to see with the apple one, but actually you could see quite a bit now. Uh, all the little bubbles forming up top. And the bubbling action that it's actually uh, doing in the bubbler. The uh, rhubarb wine is doing a little less, a uh, little less uh, action up top, but uh, the bubbling is still happening. So the bubbling is good news. It means that there's uh, still fermentation happening, a little bit less. But as you can see, the sediments up top have actually gone into the wine and laid at the bottom there's quite a bit of sediment there and even more with the apple so as the wine goes along uh, after about a month uh, month and a week I will be filtering both of the wines down and you're gonna see that it's gonna be much clearer see-through and the uh, the colors are gonna be much more transparent so that should be good alright see you whenever we filter it